the other day when I was driving around in Africa, just minding my own business, actually trying not to think about electronics or science or engineering or any of that stuff, I happened upon a gentleman who just happened to be lurking around exactly at the equator. And he proceeded to perform an extremely interesting scientific demonstration of the Coriolis effect, which I found extremely interesting. And I normally show the demonstration here to prove that you are on a equator line. Right, right now you are studying in the southern hemisphere, that's the northern hemisphere, that's east and west. If you move from here 10 meters north, when you pour the water to this bowl, the water will spin clockwise. When you go to the southern part 10 meters again, the water will spin anti-clockwise. When you come to the equator line, no movement at all. And this is Coriolis effect, which was discovered by Gaspar Coriolis. So we are going to start with the north, and then go to the south, and then wind up in the middle. Please, let's count 10. Uh, would you mind to be the assistant professor? Sure. Just come on this side. Hold this. That's the indicator for us to see how the water is spinning. I'll tell you what to do with that. So first we have to pour the water right in the middle of that hole. So there's no spin already? Because if you pour the water on side and side, you are pushing. Release the water to settle. Put the stick flat on top. Flat? Yeah. You just float flat, it? Flat. No, flat. Just oh, laying flat. down flat. Yeah. Okay, so you see it's spinning clockwise. Yeah. Clockwise, yes. Mm -hmm. The same case as the flushing toilets. In the northern part, when you flush the toilet, the water goes clockwise. Mm -hmm. In the southern part, when you flush the toilet, the water goes counterclockwise. And if the toilet is on the equator line, when you flush, the water goes straight down. Okay. Also, the climbing plants, in the northern part of the equator, it tends to coil in a clockwise motion. Mm -hmm. In the southern part, it tends to coil in anti-clockwise motion. Mm -hmm. I may try to spin it back and see. It will start again in a clockwise motion. Mm. Sounds good? Okay, let's, let's try it. Let's and see the south. Assistant, professor, good job. <laughs> Akuna Matata. Akuna Matata, no a very worries. important job. So we get again 10. Right. And then I have to pour the water again right in the middle. And then I have to release the water to settle again. Put the stick flat now. Counter top ones. Put in the middle, assistant. <laughs> yeah, you're fired. No, 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 no. She's trying. <laughs> And then I try to spin it back again and see. Hey, yeah. How do you like that? Yeah, it's true. I never. So if you move from here a few meters ahead, the water spins faster. Mm -hmm. And between the sign and here, the water moves slowly because you're getting closer to the equator. Right. So let's wind up in the middle. Assistant professor, good job. Let's finish. the water again right in the middle. This marks 0, 0, 0.00 degrees. So this is the easiest way to prove whether you're on the equator or not. Please put the stick again. And then I have to spin it round and see. It goes to stand on the edge. Have to go to the light to the edge. Then we have to turn it round and see. We want to prove. That's a, and the water still drains down. So that's Max, the end of my demonstration, and I wish you good luck for the rest of your tour. Yeah, Thank you. Can I ask you a question? Yes. How did you come 
to discover the Corio Coriolis effect and how did you come to practice this here? Uh, actually, I have learned about it and we have also to use the GPS global position system to know whether we are on the equator or not. Right. So that's the easiest way now to prove instead of using the global position system. But now why are you here to prove it to us? To people so that they can know they are exactly I in see. the center of Earth. And you're also teaching some physics, right? That's it. Right. All right. Well, thank you so much for the demonstration. You're much welcome. Okay. Okay, so this is clearly a scientific fraud here. The Coriolis force is far too weak to influence this little bowl of water, especially stepping 10 meters one way or the other from the equator. What's really fascinating is trying to figure out how he got the water to spin the way he wanted it to. I watched this video over and over trying to figure out his little trick, but I can't really tell. But nonetheless, it was very artfully done. But I have to say, as scams in Africa go, this was the most fluffy, enjoyable, and downright scholarly scam I experienced. A far cry from the total insanity that ensued when the front suspension of our sketchy rental car totally disintegrated in the middle of nowhere.